हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन हैंडल दी एलिमेंट्स आई फ्रेम एलिमेंट्स एंड नेस्टेड आई फ्रेम एलिमेंट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब एंड हाउ इट हैज मेड पॉसिबल टू सॉल्व दिस इम्पॉसिबल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ नेस्टेड आई फ्रेम एंड हाउ यू कैन सेव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम वाइल हैंडलिंग दीज थिंग्स सो लेट सी दस इन एंड इट्स वेरी सिंपल नो नथिंग एक्स्ट्रा रिक्वायर जस्ट अ सिंगल क्लिक एंड यू विल गेट एवरी so let's jump it directly if you have an install just install selectors of for whichever browser you want and yes so let's see the very first thing if any element is like suppose you have inspected this element and you click on inspect here and open selectors of here i hope like you know how to open and all if you are new to selectors of uh then please open uh please watch the detailed video tutorial of selectors of uh, link is given in the uh, description okay so if you inspect any element and open selectors of here you will see that uh, x path here x path css here this means uh, it is a normal element this is not inside a uh, uh, inside i frame and uh, all okay so this is a normal element now if an element will be inside i frame how selectors of will help you because uh, from dev tools immediately you will not get to know that that element is inside i frame you will have to scroll up and down to get to know that so let's inspect some other element here and you inspect it this one okay so here you see that even though if you look at dom we are not able to get that this element is inside i frame right until unless we don't scroll up and down but here in selectors up you will immediately get to know that this is inside i frame in i frame and here is the i frame x path inside which this element exists and these are the selectors for the element which we have inspected so it's very easy now <coughs> now we can directly use this x path frame x path and we can go to our script like if we are writing like this way driver dot uh, switch to dot frame and here we can pass that element right document dot query uh, sorry driver dot whatever you i mean it uh, it up to you what kind of command you write here driver dot find element by dot x path and here you can paste it that x path value here and in fact we can uh, you can directly get this complete command you just have to uh, copy and paste this thing here turn on that command feature i will show you that as well and wherever you have written the x path here just replace that with x path value keyword so this is another feature i'm just showing it quickly so that like uh, you don't miss anything this to bracket now we can uh, you can directly copy this value and paste it there similarly like now to handle this element you copy this value and come here this is done if you want to click you can click so this is how you can quickly complete your uh, script so here now if i if we have to handle any of the element of uh, in which is inside i frame you just inspect that you will get all the information you just copy that value copy that value and paste it in your script so this is how selectors of will help you immediately get to know that you get to know that this is inside i frame this is the i frame x path and this is the these are the selectors for the inspected element you need not to waste any time to uh, figure it out whether that element is inside i frame or not and here you can build your own x path as well like you can start typing and you will get auto suggest here so you can build your own x path as well whatever way you want whether you want to auto generate it from selector sum or you want to write your own x path so this will help you a lot and will save up save a lot of time you will not have to waste time up and down the next is the big thing single i frame we have seen that yes it is possible and we can write and verify what about like if any element is inside multiple i frames like this is this element is inside single i frame it will tell you that this element is in this i frame let me just hide all these features so it will have clean view so this is inside i frame we got that and this is the selector what if i frame with within an i frame now let's inspect this and see how this will this is going to help you wow so this is immediately going to tell us that this element is inside two nested i frame and these are the x path for i frames 1 2 and this is the x path for the inspected element this is amazing 
and now if you want you can directly in fact you can turn on this command and press enter here you see that you got complete everything simple you can copy this go back to your script paste this and what you want now you want driver dot switch to whatever i mean it's up to you what kind of command you write that you can write it here frame one so easy it is now and then driver dot same same we can copy and paste this is frame two and here you can now you can handle this element whatever you want this element if you want like send keys or perform click anything you want to do that you can do it here so it's a uh, so fast and so quick you got that solution and here you can uh, if you want to write and verify xpath for this particular element that also you can build it by your own so so quick so easy and it made possible it was impossible before like in fact if you see that if you have to write your own xpath for any element let's say for this element if you have to write xpath and if you write xpath here in dev tools this is not the right platform to verify xpath let me tell you it was a myth we were doing it uh, we were writing like div at the rate class when you will write here so you will see that for that particular element which we are trying to write div class is, is equal to this one let's say container and if you write here you see that it is showing six of matching node one of six which is actually no we have made that unique xpath already this is a unique xpath for this particular element if you verify this xpath here you will find this this is a one matching node while it is showing here six matching node why because it is matching outside iframe as well so always verify xpath write your xpath in selectors up here you will get the right count here you will not get the right count because it also match with the string it also match inside iframe outside iframe everywhere wherever it will find a similar xpath it will match that with that element so make sure that you verify your xpath at the right place you write the, your xpath at the right place which is selector sub selector sub is meant for the is built for the selectors for xpath and css selectors and all kind of selectors while browser dev tools is not for the uh, is not the purpose of browser dev tools is to verify xpath and selectors only it also based worked on uh, a string search functionality so that is the region so here you can build your own xpath and css selector you can verify inside iframe nested iframe any element if if it is inside iframe it is, if it is nested iframe everything it will tell you like wherever you inspect if any element wherever it will be it will show you, show you that way so you see that this is this element is inside iframe it immediately tells you so everything you will get to know that now there is a uh, certain kinds of iframe which are from different uh, source it's a same origin policy so this is the limitation for all the extensions not just a uh, selector sub the region that like uh, they will not be supported because uh, from w3c and browser policy browser doesn't allow to inject a script inside iframe which are from different source different source mean uh, a different protocol it could be different port it could be different host host it could be so uh, in that case uh, extension will not be inject their script inside the iframe so that is the reason in that case it will not selectors will not be able to generate the uh, selectors or verify selectors inside those kind of iframes and it is very limited so you need not to worry uh, this is something like these kinds of ads are coming from different website different source and this is like amazon.com but this ad is coming from somewhere else so in that case uh, these are the uh, iframes which are from different source but here you will get the information selectors will give you the uh, information that it might be comments or iframe from different source so that is the reason that it is not generating but if any element which is from same source then definitely it will work uh, very normal and easy for you but this will be like very rare scenario that you will be like uh, handling such kind of element so don't worry about that these are generally ads which are coming from different source different website but generally most of the cases uh, iframe are from same source so uh, i hope this will help you a lot and it will save a lot of time and uh, definitely you will uh, love this feature please let me know in the comment section that uh, how this feature you are using and let me know like what if any improvement i can uh, we can do it on selectors up in iframe uh, while handling iframe and what else you need if you feel that this scenario is breaking in your case so please let me know in the comment section and how uh, 
uh, what's your thoughts about this feature please let me know please like share and uh, let others know about selectors of this is really uh, amazing innovation incredible innovation which is helping a lot to the community and subscribe to the channel for uh, upcoming innovations and latest updates on automation if you feel selector sub is helping on your day to day work please be a patron and support you can be a patron here like just click on donate button and it's there in your selector sub tab as well so you can be a patron and definitely it will help a lot to me that uh, to uh, make uh, to work hard on this selector sub innovation more and to support you guys so with that thank you thank you so much